G'day guys, DIY Dive All here. Uh, just doing a bit of a video on some lawn equipment I just brought. Um, so I do a bit of contracting for lawn. That's I don't do just lawns. I'm a um, handyman, um, but I do have a lawn route that I do every fortnight, sort of thing. Um, I've just taken on a display home built by one of the local builders here, and um, they want. They obviously want, you know, the best of the best. They want it to look schmicko. So I um I just done the first round of it uh, the other day, and the um, edger that I use, um, shit a blade. Um, I don't know why it tore it up so bad. I'll show you in a sec. Um, but it did. So. Anyway, I, um, I've just gone out and bought an attachment. So I use a Ryobi edger. Um, now, before you start criticizing, and Ryobi's not, I mean, it's not too bad, but I don't use it a lot. Um, I actually use an Echo line trimmer, um, and I use a Honda, you can't see it in here, or a Honda mower. Um, then I've got, you know, the like Echo chainsaws and Husqvarna chainsaws and stuff like that. So the Ryobi I got from a, we call it the Rand again here in Sunraysia, um, and I paid 10 bucks for it. And it's it's the Ryobi before they called it the Expandit range, but I'm pretty sure they still fit. If they don't, I'm going to be disappointed at the end of this video, I suppose. So anyway, we'll get into it. This is it. And see there the edger attachment. Now, this is what I was using. You can see there, obviously, at the end of this is the line trimmer. Um, and the blade there, we'll just take this off and I'll show you. It's, um, I've used this blade about six times and you can see there's just nothing left of it. It is a double sided blade. So you can see there, there's teeth. Well, you know, part of the blade. And they're, they're usually up about there sort of thing. Six times I've used it. This come off of a cheap uh, line trimmer set um, from years ago and it just sat there, I found the blade. Um, I actually have an Echo Edger, um, an Edget it's called. Um, having carby problems with it. It is pretty old and it's a bit harder to use as opposed to this sort of setup. So I just want to have a look, see what these look like, show you guys what they are. I haven't seen this. Um, so all the Ryobi, Ryobi, however you want to say it, all this stuff comes from Bunnings. Um, everyone probably already knows that. This is just going to be a bit of a review. On it. I don't want to go into too much detail, I suppose. So there is a bit of a funny story behind this. These actually, these retail for $119. There is, like I said, a bit of a funny story behind this. I went in and bought it. All right, so you get, you get a little bit of a toolkit there. I suppose that's pretty. That's everything. Um, went into this. This actually ended up costing me nothing due to a Bunnings stuff up. They actually um, went in and the, the lady done a, as a cash sale, I was paying by card, and um, she done as a cash sale, and 
when they when they realised that they'd stuffed up, she'd done a refund and went all through the stuff. But instead of doing the refund and then me paying the hundred nineteen dollars, what they've done is they haven't completed the refund process. I've gone to pay, not realising, um, and they credited me credited me a hundred nineteen dollars. So it cost me nothing. They actually paid me a hundred nineteen dollars to take it. So I'm not going to complain. All right. So we've got everything there. Looks pretty good. It's all um, plastic, which is expected. Nice big wheel. I do like that. Not a massive adjustment on the wheel, but that's all right. That's good. there for a sec. I'm only in a small garden shed, so bear with me. Now what way? Sorry, don't mind me a sec. Feels nice. The biggest problem I found with the sorry, we'll just adjust the camera a little bit. The biggest problem I found with this uh, the Ryobi, um, using it as a line trimmer, it was heavy compared to the Echo. Um, even using it as with this as this blade, this blade has it's because it's got no weight up in the head of it. It, it just seemed heavy up here um, but this head here has quite a bit of weight to it so that's good um, I will start it to see what it's like so excuse the noise this is more for me than you I suppose see how easy this thing starts if I, I like I said I bought this from a it's a tip shop round again paid 10 bucks I think I paid for it I went in took it up to the counter and I said how much and they said uh, it had ten dollars written on it and they said oh five bucks I'm a beauty meant to pay for it by card and they went oh we don't accept that cost under ten dollars so I ended up paying the full ten dollars for it that's all right 350 odd dollar unit to buy a new I think the newer models are 378 ish I think for memory so done a pretty good job I think that's the cold start pretty good that's still on choke get the choke off beautiful
beautiful. A um, lot safer than using this attachment. The old one, that thing, you have to rev it up slowly. It takes a little bit to get the blade spinning. Um, and then it takes forever for it to slow down. This here, you don't really have to rev it up. You just pull the trigger and it's, it starts spinning. Um, and it, it slows down pretty much instantly, so a lot safer. I'm happy with that. We'll give it a test. Um, so these blades here, we just put that back on here. This over here, this part. We have a look here. Bit hard to see. We'll see if this fixes it. So that's the blade there. You can see here. That's that's how far it can wear down to before you've got to replace it. Both sides there. So that's that's pretty good. Hopefully, hopefully it lives, survives a bit longer than um, what this one did. That's that's good. I'm happy with that. Blades are like twenty four bucks, I think. I don't know, I don't know why line trimmer blades are so expensive compared to like your lawn mowers and whatnot um the blades on my honda can you have a look down here i got it that's the honda commercial lawn mower the blades on that cost about 11 dollars, and that's that's for four blades so you're getting um high rise and low rise blades 11 bucks, yet line trimmer blades are about, well, they're 24-ish, so I don't know why, but anyway, um, we'll give it a run, see how it goes, probably do another video on that, I'll, um, I'll do the, the display home, um, not this, not tomorrow, but the next Thursday, we'll do that, see how it comes up, and, um, I'll let you know. I'm kind of upset now yeah, because I've destroyed this. Uh, we didn't destroy it, but I did destroy the trimmer head and everything to be able to make that work. Um, so I'll have to buy another one of them if I want to use it as a line trimmer again. Not that I will really need to. Um, I'll probably just leave it as that. Um, I would like to buy the tiller, um, attachment for it, um, and that's probably really all I need for it. Um, you can get two different sorts of blowers, um, you can get the, the big, um, you know, the, the normal looking sort of blower and you can get the little gutter blower. Um, I don't know, if I ever get the chance to use one of those gutter blowers, I might give it a go and might get one, but, I mean, probably not worth it, I've already got a, a Husqvarna blower, so, no need, um, yeah, that's about all I can say, really, um, when I do a, when I test it, I'll make sure I video it for you guys, put another video up, cheers for watching.